Hello and welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. I'm Eat Smoke Drink and you might have seen me from other episodes as I shat my guts out in Bangkok. I'm kidding. Welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Today I'm reviewing a Masam Samaroli bottling. Weird bottling, looks like an apothe apothecary. Um, I've never tried one before and I've never reviewed one before, but a little background, Silvano Samaroli. Google it before you watch it. In a nutshell, Italian guy, super famous for his palate. He had a private cellar of all the barrel picks he's had and then he passed away and his wife is bottling um, his private cellar. His brand has continued but another person is bottling for him. So I would rather gravitate towards the bottlings that he, in theory, picked, the barrels that he picked. This is a Kalila, 1999 or 2020, what is that? 19 years old, so not too old, 53.7%. So for a 19 year old, yeah, the barrel could have been good. But let's get pouring, let's get sipping, and let's get, no, wait. let's get pouring, let's get nosing, and let's get sipping. I'm trying to get my catchphrase sorted, but man, gotta remember this shit. All right. Kalila, what they call a gentleman's isla. I'm looking forward to this because Kalila features a lot in our uh, whiskey club. We try to buy as many of them as we can because Kalila is fantastic. And Kalila is also very welcoming of people independently bottling their whiskey, which is fantastic. We've had Kalilas as young as nine years old to Kalilas as old as 30 plus years old. So let's get nosing. On the nose, classic Kalila. Classic Kalila, overripe fruit, fresh rubber, smoke, a pinch of iodine, distant bonfire, durian. Ooh, it smells like a little bit like durian Kalila, in my opinion. Oh, wow. Unripe apricot. Simple sugar syrup, fried bacon. Oh God, that's glorious. Look on the nose, nothing unusual. Nothing unusual on the nose. It's Kalila. It's Kalila. I mean, if I was to get you to nose it, you'd be like, yeah, that's an Isla. And if you know your shit, yeah, that's a Kalila. Nothing overly unusual on the nose. So, what can I tell you? Nothing too unusual. Let's get sipping. Whoa, wow. Now that's different, that's different. On the nose, it is definitely nothing unusual. Just like another Kalila. Wow, that's weird. On the palate, rubber times five. So much rubber. And here's an unusual note that I'm gonna tell you right now. Just imagine getting an oven tray or a pan and you put some peanuts in there. The peanuts already roasted, but you put the peanuts on the pan anyway. And then you burn it. I'm getting a burnt peanut taste and smell in my mouth. In fact, it is dominating my palate right now, the burnt peanut. Rubber. I'm trying very hard to get other flavors in there. But it's hard. Ah. A herb bouquet, a basket of herbs, a mixed herb from the garden, fresh plucked on a summer's day. Licorice, rosemary, but it is tough to find another flavor in there, but smoke, rubber, and burnt peanut. How strange is that? This is like taking a 
Let me just compose myself and think about what I'm about to say. This is like taking a 12 year old Kalila, adding an extra 25% ABV alcohol, putting in a machine that Captain America went into, and it comes out like this. It is taking your standard Kalila and just amplifying the flavor up to here. No refinement at all in this particular bottling. It's got no shame. It is a guy that pulls his pants down and does the windmill in the middle of the busiest city streets. It is like, hey, I'm Kalila. Look at me swing my ding dong. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, why did I censor that? His penis. I apologize. I didn't mean to censor that. His penis. He's basically trying to tell you, I'm Kalila. Hear me roar and hear me windmill. Or see me windmill. That is what he's saying. It is absolutely astonishing, this one here. I don't know if I like it. I certainly don't dislike it. But I don't know if I like it. For a Kalila, it's not very nuanced and calm. It's certainly not a gentleman's Isla. It ain't no Piers Brosnan or Sean Connery. It is more Tamiwira Morrison playing Jake the Muss. Too much wit, not enough speed work, you know what I mean? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and download and stream Once We're Warriors. It's basically just a completely savage son of a bitch. Mm. Like I said, I don't know if I like it. It is extremely robust. And... But I tell you what though, no points off for being extremely unique. Because if you think you know Kalila, or you don't, until you've tried this. Single barrel, Masam Samaroli, Samaroli's pick of a Kalila. And I don't know when he tried it at the stage, or did he just buy a random barrel, whatever. I don't know the story behind it. But this ain't no Kalila I've ever had in my entire whiskey drinking life. And like I said, I don't know if I like it. I certainly don't dislike it. You, you be the judge. If you can find it, please buy it. Let me know your thoughts. If you've tried it before, let me know your thoughts. Until next time, I should eat my drink. That is, that can be taken as WHO advice. Make sure you eat my drink. Cheers.